I'm realizing is that women, especially black women, are a special kind of stupid. Do get asked for dates, but I'm never interested in those dates. And the guys whom I'm interested in, they are never interested in me. Oh yeah, this is starting well. To be honest, given the choice, every man will choose a woman who is a 10, or even higher if that kind of woman exists. But at the end of the day, when most men take a look at themselves in the mirror, and when they take a look at where they are in life, they come to the realization that they might be asking for way more that they can afford. So, they either work hard or harder in order to be able to get what they want, or they decide to play in their league. Anyone with half a decent brain will agree that, it is a reasonable course of action. But, unfortunately, that logic and course of action doesn't apply to the modern woman. Here we have a woman who is average at best, and she probably does not have any special skill that will make a man's life better, but here she is, asking for the best of what the male gender has to offer, and judging by how she talks, she thinks that she is entitled to the best man possible just for the simple fact that she is a woman. I am too doing 50 50 with anybody if that's the case i can be by myself so i'm not doing 50 50 if you can't do that then keep moving and i have a daughter so we come together mm -hmm. so if you don't feel like you can help out with me and my kids then we don't have anything to talk about Serious? Wow, she doesn't do 50-50 on the bills, and she has a child fathered by another man, and she is saying that any man who wants to deal with her, should not only take care of her, but also of her child fathered by some random pookie. Okay. Okay, you know a lot of men are gonna tell you, what, what do you bring, since right. you're bringing your daughter, what, what are you gonna <laughs> add to the relationship? Um, I'm adding myself. So, that's all I have for you. I, I don't bring anything to, I don't have anything to bring to a table, okay? I am the table, and most of these men don't even have a table, all they have is bar stools. So, <laughs> let's, let's be for real. And yet, here she is, looking for a man who is going to take care of her, and her bastard child. You can't make this shit up. What I'm realizing is that women, especially black women, are a special kind of stupid. I'm supposed to be beautiful yeah. for my you man. I'm not supposed to be the f***ing slave. That well, life is a choice. You can either be a slave to your husband or a prostitute to the world. And any woman who considers housework as slavery, she belongs to the streets, and to the streets she shall remain. This is how entitled and ungrateful most women are. They constantly refuse to acknowledge the burden that men have to bear, and all they do is bring the attention on themselves. Modern women think that reciprocating value to someone who gives you value is slavery. Seriously, this is nuts. As I said before, life is a choice. I was just like, baby, you are gorgeous, but you are dumb. Like, what are you talking about? Slavery? How is cooking or cleaning and taking care of the household and somebody you love slavery? Buy yourself those flowers. Take yourself on that date. Take yourself on that trip. Love yourself. For so many years, I didn't get flowers, certain gifts I didn't have, because I was waiting for someone to come in my life and do those things for me. And then I realized that my happiness had to be in my hands. So now I buy myself those flowers. I take myself to those places. I take myself on those trips. I buy myself those gifts. I'm no longer going to allow my happiness to be on stall or to be prolonged or procrastinate on happiness because I'm waiting on someone else, something outside of myself to provide those things for me. Today, buy yourself those flowers. Translation. Since a man don't want to buy me flowers, take me on trips and shower me with gifts, I'm going to do it for myself. You know what, it is strange that it is only westernized women that are on social media and on TV complaining about materialistic things from men. That tells a lot about the quality of western women. It's your boy, Lorenzo, Passport Bros Network. I got a question for like, all the haters and American, you know what I'm saying, western women and the western simps and cucks out there. You say we're taking advantage of women overseas because we have money and stuff, right? But 
when you're in America, these women will tell you they want a man with money. That's six figures. Now, when we go overseas, we're automatically, our money triples and quadruples. So we're six figures now. So I'm, I'm, I'm just confused. So me being six figures overseas with, with the woman, I'm taking advantage of her and I'm a predator. But if I had six figures in America and you date me and marry me, I'm not taking advantage of you. Make that make sense. Make it make sense. Exactly. You're full of shit. Yeah. Yeah, you mad. It's, it's a wrap. It's over with. This is the future. Passport bros is the future. I'm going to read this to you it's regarding the modern black women here in America. As a retired army veteran, I've seen much of the world during my years in the army, and I can personally confirm how the black female service members react when they see brothers in uniform dating the local women and not them. The irony is that these same disgusted black females are the very same ones who wouldn't give these same brothers the time of day stateside. This was the primary reason why I stayed overseas for nearly half of my career. The one viable solution to address the black American female effery is for them to be 100% without any black men in America for them to be completely and totally abandoned as if they were a disease. I feel the energy you've got for the women that are not willing to engage and do their part, but we can't throw them all away. They're absolutely not. My take on the passport boys, AKA these men that are leaving the country to find their wives or to find women that they feel like are more traditional than American women. First comment, grip. Like, are you guys really real? The fact of the matter is the average woman does not even require that much. As a woman in America, why in 2022 would I settle for a man that expects me to basically be a slave and maid? So, I, I mean, I see why y'all gotta go overseas to sell the bullshit to other women, but another thing you're missing and point you're missing is you need money. Like it's gonna take time, energy, and money that y'all can't even give to women that live here in your own culture. You guys are delusional. It's giving you need to be in a mental health facility because instead of being introspective and looking at your actions, what you're doing that's maybe not working out in your favor, um, y'all would rather like, Go to another country and just continue the toxicity. I'm at the um, the airport in Atlanta, and I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. In addition to just feeling disrespected and unappreciated by men in my own life. It's another thing when you wake up to comments on the internet by other black men who just hate black women, like. So, it's fair game for black women to spit venom on black men. But the moment these women are given back what they give, now it's not okay. You want to be appreciated for doing what? Tearing down black men, insulting them in front of the whole world. Fuck out of here. I just... I don't know. I, I feel like everything black women do is a problem. I don't feel... I don't feel safe, protected, loved around my own men. Men of my race and it hurts. Because black women go so hard for y'all. Wow. She wants to be safe and protected around the men she seriously insults without reserve. Do black women think that black men are masochists who get turned on by being degraded? How stupid do you have to be to ask for love from the people that you yourself hate? We go so hard for black men. And they just never do the same for us. And I'm tired. Some of the comments I read were so hateful just and, and racist like the white man doesn't even have to do the job for you because black men do the job of white supremacy for them this woman is a special case you go so hard for black men how by insulting them belittling them tearing them down and now she brings in the racism i've never been called ugly unattractive ghetto and just all the negative things so basically she has never been told the truth about herself well better sooner than later at least now she knows what she is a ugly ass ghetto ass dumb ass human being 
that people say about black women by anyone other than black men. And you know what? I'm sick and tired of y'all bullying us. I'm sick and tired of us being quiet. And y'all just wonder why we are quote unquote angry. We're not angry. We're tired. No more 2024. Yes, you are right. No more in 2024 because black men are getting their money straight, getting their passport and they are going overseas, away from your disrespectful ghetto ass selves. The one viable solution to address the black American female effery is for them to be 100% without any black men in America. For them to be completely and totally abandoned as if they were a disease. I feel the energy you've got for the women that are not willing to engage and do their part, but we can't throw them all away. That absolutely not.